Okay, so now we're on the base subassembly. This is the vertical support, and it's showing us a half section view. So we're just going to draw half of the part and revolve it around a center axis. Let's make a new 2D sketch. Go to your rectangle tool. There's two main rectangles in here. Trim out the bits that you don't need. And now we have this representation here. It shows that this is 0.75. This is 1.375. And this entire length from this end to this end is 5.75. We're going to revolve this around our center axis. And I forgot to say what the diameters were. So we are going to actually expand Revolution 1, go back into our sketch, and check on dimensions here. All right. This is supposed to be 5 sixteenths. So I type in 5 divided by 16. This is going to be, and you know what, this is supposed to be half of that. We just drew half of the shape, so we should have given it a radius instead of a diameter. Let me go back and fix that real quick. So this is one we just added, 5 sixteenths. Half of 5 sixteenths is 5 thirty seconds. There we go. This is supposed to be a half inch. Half of a half is 0.25. And we need to make sure that we match up this point with this point. Just doing that with a horizontal constraint, which you can find up here. Now we can finish our sketch. And that looks a lot nicer. And we get to add threads to this. And if we add it to the one end, it says in the specifications is 5 sixteenths, 18 UNC, 5 sixteenths, 18 UNC, so that's all good. The tricky part comes to this end, where you have threads on just part of it. So select apply, and then we're going to go back to location, we're going to uncheck full length, and we're going to change the length of this to our half inch. Go back to pick your face, select this end, click apply. Specification is still um, 5 sixteenths. And the last part on here says a chamfer both ends, 0 0.031. Chamfer, distance, 0 0.031. Click on both edges, apply exit and your vertical support is supposed to be made out of steel so right click on part 6 properties physical material steel save this as vertical support 